Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to create a registration form and how the data is being inserted into our database. And if you are new to this channel, do subscribe, do follow me on my Instagram page. So let's not waste our time and let's get started. Let me open my code. I have done a few changes that is I have created a sublate folder and added all header footer and I have given a nav bar. So the nav bar is nothing but this thing and I have given the links over here. Just a login and logout. So we'll be working on a register part. The file also has been created. We just have to create a registration form and type a code. Separated the CSS and JS file and then included in my index. You can see here using include function, I have included all the header, footer and the navbar. This is all about the changes that I have been done. And one more is that the link which I have given uh, the navbar should be connected with that page name. So this is our registration form. I have included the header, navbar and footer as well. And here we'll be creating our registration form let us start designing a form container row column md six or eight and inside this we'll create a card 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 body before this give card header so inside this header using h4 tag we'll just give class text center and we just give here as registration form inside this body create a form. A form design if you know to create a form design you can just go with typing or else to make it easier just go to get bootstrap you have the latest version here is 5.3 click on doc and uh, search for form here you get form so we'll copy this and we'll design according to our registration need let's copy this go back to our code paste it reload so the form is here this thing has to come in center so we'll give that and we'll just make this form come a little bit down to so go back to form container give margin top as pipe and row give justify content center once after this go back and reload you can see that your form has been at the right place and the position is correct don't require all these check out and all we'll just be adding two more fields that is phone number and username design accordingly we don't require this one we'll just cut it we don't require this checkbox just cut we have one button so first is email we don't require all this we'll copy this and paste it once again instead of email you can give it as name or full name And here input will have an attribute of name. So give it as name. If you want, you can just give a placeholder also. Enter your name. Let's give this placeholder and name attribute for email as well. Type, change it to text for username. For email, let it be email. We'll give your name. Tell this as email placeholder. enter your mail id we have name email password and we require a phone number so we'll just copy this and paste it here and we'll change this to number and here let's change this to phone and enter your mobile number copy this paste here remove this cut this button and paste it here this is a form and we have submit here we'll just rename this to register on submit this has to perform some action we have to change this to phone number and we have email and password let's go back and change let's make this as phone number email address password read out oh, you didn't get a placeholder for all this so the spelling is wrong here make this as placeholder password Enter your password. It has to be create. Here you can see full name, phone number, email, password. On press of this register button, the form has to perform some action. Form will have two attributes. One is the action 
action we are going to direct it to another page to perform operation that a register form has to perform and method is something through which the data is being sent this method is very important form action we will be giving action to code.php here we will be performing our action go to register.form and direct this file to code.php you have to give a name we will be telling register button so on click of this it will go to code.php with the post method and it will perform the action let's copy this and go back to code.php if is set of dollar post of the button so if that button is clicked we'll echo and check hello sneha code we'll just check this if this is working we move with the coding part let's click on this register it is redirecting to code.php the message is hello sneha code let's get started with inserting of the data into our database so before getting started let's go and create a database so i've already created a database here you can see php tutorials is my database the table name as users let's make this as five and hit go so first will be the id 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 is of integer and length can be five main thing is you should set id as primary because the id should be unique a table should contain one primary auto increment in the sense the id will be incremented by one you have your name and give this as varchar just give a random number and you have phone right we'll just give it as phone varchar random number you have an email give varchar 191 and the password varchar 191 we need one more column so we'll just give one more column say created at so this will be the time stamp this will actually give the current date and time when a particular user register save it you can check you have id name phone number email password and created at so there's nothing to do with created at create variable for name i am giving it as name and dollar post of this name the attribute name so we have four fields so 1 2 3 this will be phone email password write an insert query register query is equal to insert into table name is users so if you have doubt you can go back and copy from here and paste it users and then we have values inside this give our name phone email password these name phone email password is coming from your table i mean this name phone email password and here the values will be this particular thing this has to be written using a single quotes separated by comma phone just paste it and then we have email just copy paste and the last one would be password copy paste so once this is done write another query register query run here we will be connecting this particular variable as well as our connection to our database using mysqli query we will be connecting our database so dollar connection comma register query so before this i'll explain you all the connection thing at how i connected the database so let me uncomment this so this is a connection to database you can just mention this as database or connection or con or anything so using mysql i connect function this is our host name username 
and password and this is the database name so host name is localhost and username will be root and password is null give your database name make sure you don't make error in giving the name of the database that's all about connection the data will be inserted user must know that if it is inserted or not so that we'll write an if query and show the message if this query run we'll be telling echo registration says full else will be telling echo unsuccessful we have done with a code we'll just comment and give this as register code we have done with a code. Let us test now. Let's go back to our page and reload. Sneha. And I'll give random number. Email. Password. Let me register. Here we have some error. Undefined index password on line 11. Let's check with that. Here the spelling is wrong. So make sure the spelling is correct here as well. But the registration is successful. Go back and check our database. So here you can see except password everything would have been stored. Go back and register once again. And one more thing on register it is in the same page. Let's redirect that back to our uh, register page itself or redirect back to our index page. Header. Header location. Location. We'll just tell it as login.php. If the registration is unsuccessful, we just redirect back this to index.php. Go back and reload. Let me register once again. Anu, phone number, email will be anu at gmail.com. Password 1234. Click on register. You can again see that we have some error on line 11. But the registration is successful. Let's go back and reload. Yeah, I have clicked that thing 3 to 4 times. Delete this. Reload. We have two data here. But the password is not stored. We'll check on this error now. Open our code. Password. Spellings are correct. Let's go to register and check. We have forgot to give the name. Attributes. Give name. Password. Save and reload. Register with another username. Home. Home at gmail.com 12345. Click on register. So here you are getting registration is successful. But the thing is not redirecting. Let's go and check with that. So here the location spelling is wrong. Location. Copy and paste it. Yeah. Now if you register. It's redirecting back to login page. Let's reload and check. So here you have Merle, the mobile number, email and everything. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Do follow my Instagram page. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.